Hi Libra, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what do you need to know right now in regards to love? All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's get three shuffles. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what does Libra need to know right now in regards to love? What does Libra need to know right now in regards to love? Keep in mind all the cards are upright before I start shuffling. What does Libra need to know right now in regards to love? All right, first card we have for you, Libra, is the Ace of Cups. It's a good card. Tell me more. Five of Cups in reverse, and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need to figure out this Five of Cups energy. Five of Cups in reverse. Let me look at this first before I say anything. Let me clarify this one. Spirit, what can you tell me about the Five of Cups in reverse, please? Five of Cups in reverse, please, for Libra. Page of Swords. Two of Pentacles. And the Ten of Wands. Okay. Hmm. This feels like the energy of you um, getting over someone or trying to get over someone or wanting this person to see you getting over them. You're watching this person with the Page of Swords. I want to know why you're watching them. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Mm -mm. This is tricky. I'm getting, I feel a little bit of a tricky energy here. Tell me about the Page of Swords connected to Libra. Okay. Five of Swords. Yep. There we go. Here we go. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. And the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so some of you might be dealing with someone who is already involved with somebody else, or you might suspect that they're already involved with somebody else, because for some reason, I don't feel like this is you, this Queen of Pentacles. I don't feel like this Queen of Pentacles is you. I actually feel like this is a third party. Um, I feel like this is someone who either you know is involved with your person or you suspect is involved with your person. Yeah. Because this is kind of like the energy of, well, this person is not talking to me. You know, they're not really taking action towards me. The person that you're thinking about here in regards to love, Libra, um, you feel like this person's not making me any offers, you know. They're not extending themselves out to me. They're not really putting any effort into their relationship or connection with me. So they must be with somebody else. This person must be with someone else. This person must be involved in another relationship because they're not putting any effort or work into their relationship with me. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I don't know if that's true or not. I guess we can try to confirm or... We can try to confirm that, or just we can see if it's true. 
you feel like this person is keeping secrets from you with the five of swords you feel like this person is playing mind games with you you feel like this person deceiving you and again it has it has something to do with them not really showing up for you they're not really showing up for you. So if they're not showing up for you, you know, you feel like they must be showing up for somebody else. Okay. What else do I want to look at? All right, let's 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 keep going. Let's see what's the rest of the picture here. I want to take a look at the Eight of Cups. Yeah, Eight of Wands is in reverse. This is like communication. You're not receiving any communication from them or any action. Um, like I said, they're, they're not present. They're not spending time with you. They're not being present with you. Okay. Let's take a look at the Ace of Cups spirit. Why is the Ace of Cups here in regards to what Libra needs to know right now? Tell me about the Ace of Cups. All right, we have Knight of Swords in reverse. We also have the Four of Swords. We also have the Seven of Cups upright. Huh, interesting. Libra, okay. Ace of Cups, it's like you've been waiting for this person to, okay, so you've been waiting for this person to like do something, you know, do something, say something like, you know, take some sort of action, you know, express feelings, express emotions, offer you, you know, a, a true relationship, a, a true offer of love. You've been waiting for this person also, um, or you've been waiting to see if this person would at least, you know, try to apologize or, or make amends with you or, or heal the relationship with you. I'm a little bit confused by your energy, Libra. I'm not sure what you want. I'm not exactly sure what you want, because I feel like um, there's a lot going on in your energy and it, and it does look a little bit conflicted. And it looks a little bit mixed. So I almost want to get another deck to see if I can kind of zoom into your energy a little bit more with more detail. Because I feel like it's a little bit confusing. With the Seven of Cups, you know, I feel like there's a lot of scattered energy connected to you here. Like scattered feelings, scattered thoughts. I also feel like you're hurt. I also feel like you you feel a little bit almost like backstabbed. You feel backstabbed. You feel a little bit betrayed. Or you feel like this person is potentially betraying you. But I do feel like you're a little bit confused. Like you yourself are a little bit confused. You don't exactly know what the whole story is with this person. You just know that this person is keeping something from you. Sorry, that was my chair. You know this person is keeping something from you. You know this person is, you know, being um, very evasive or elusive, shady, sketchy. But you don't know exactly what's going on. That's the thing. You don't know 100% what's going on. So you can't say for sure right now how you feel because you feel like you don't know what's going on with this person. So you don't know... Um, how to make sense of your reality right now because you don't know what the reality is you don't know what the truth is mm. 
Okay. <clears throat> Let me look at this eight of um, eight of wands. What can you tell me about the eight of wands in reverse? I feel like you just want this person to be honest with you. Like, listen, are, are, are we in this together or are we not? Seven of Cups to the Ace of Cups. I feel like you just want this person to be upfront with you, direct with you, you know. Are you with someone or are you not with someone? Are you available or are you not available? Are we in this together or are we not in this together? You know, is there an opportunity here or is there not an opportunity? Like, you tell me, you know, like, I feel like that's your energy. You tell me so that I can figure out what I want to do moving forward with my life. Because it feels like you're paying attention to this person, waiting for answers, you know, waiting for clarity. Okay. So I want to help you with that. So I think I want to look into your person so I, so that I can help you because it I feel like that's what you're looking for. You're looking for clarity. All right. What can you tell me about the Eight of Wands in reverse? All right. So we have the Lovers. We also have the King of Wands. Lovers in reverse and the King of Wands. Mm, oh, I don't really want to touch it. Okay, I don't want to touch this right now. Let me just go to your person's um, energy. Let me dig into your person's energy before I touch this. I kind of want to leave this alone for now. All right. Let me hop over. I just, like I said, you're not receiving communication from them or, or not, or you're not receiving what you feel is honest communication from them. And with the five of cups in reverse, I was going to say this also. It's kind of like you're not sure if you want to move on, or if you should move on, or if you shouldn't. I, I feel like you're a little bit indecisive about do I move on or do I not move on or do I stay? What do I do? You know, because you're interested in this person. For some of you, this is a new person, by the way, because we do have the Ace of Cups, cups which can represent a new person. Doesn't have to be, though, but for some of you, this is new. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like you're in this energy of you don't know, like, do I move on or do I not move on? Because you're interested in this person. You have feelings for this person. But you don't know, you know, is it reciprocated or is it not? Is there potential here or is there not potential? Like, you're, you're trying to figure out where is this person at? Where do you stand with this person? All right. So let's look into it. Let's see if I can help you. For those of you who, for those of you who resonate with that, um, all right, Spirit, what can you tell me about this person that Libra is um, connecting to in regards to love? What is this person's current feelings? What are this person's current feelings for Libra? Let's get three shuffles. That was one. That was two. And three. What are this person's current feelings for Libra? All right, so we have the three of wands in reverse. We also have, well, there we go again, eight of wands in reverse. This is a different deck. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius. Could be an Aries as well. And we have the four of pentacles in um, upright. Okay, so this person is definitely intentionally, mm, intentionally 
holding back communication with you intentionally. Why are they doing that intentionally is what I want to know. Hmm. Three of Wands in reverse. Yeah, even the Three of Wands in reverse, it's like this person is intentionally um, secluding themselves, you know? Yeah, uh, isolating themselves, secluding themselves, like like keeping themselves hidden, keeping themselves, you know, off the radar. Avoiding communication with you intentionally. Hmm. All right, well, let's dig into this, then let's figure out why. I don't know why. All right, um, what do I want to look at first? Yeah, let's go to the Four of Pentacles. All right, Spirit, tell me about the Four of Pentacles and this person's current feelings for Libra. That's not nice, by the way. This person is definitely playing games. That, that, this looks like a game to me, which is what you were suspecting here with the Five of Swords. It does feel like you were suspecting because you're showing up as the Page of Swords, which is kind of like an investigator, you know? It's like you're trying to like collect information and put, put all the pieces together. So yeah, I feel like you were suspecting um, games being played by this person. It, this does look like a game to me, so I feel like you're correct. But let's see. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Um, sorry, Four of Pentacles. Connected to this person's feelings currently for Libra. Oh, okay. So, okay, Six of Cups in reverse. Interesting. It kind of looks like this person's holding a grudge here with the Six of Cups in reverse. That's what's going on. They're holding a grudge. They're, they're upset with you. Something you did or something you said um, upset them. Or something you didn't do or something you didn't say upset um, has made them upset. I don't know. What did you do? I don't see that you did anything. Hmm. Okay. Let's continue looking into it. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Tell me more. And their feelings. Um, we do have the world. Mm. Mm -hmm. We also have the Ten of Swords. What in the world? I said, I said, what in the world? And and here we have the world card. <laughs> that was that was an accident. <laughs> that was an accident. What in the world? Yeah, this person's like closing themselves off to you with the world and the Ten of Swords. This is them, cl um, yeah, closing off because they're holding a grudge. But it's weird, though, because they're showing up as the Four of Pentacles, it, which feels to me like they don't, they don't intend to permanently close off. They don't intend to permanently close off feels like they're just like closing off for now what can you tell me about the eight of wands in reverse and their feelings um yeah ace of wands in reverse yeah they're they're um avoiding taking any action towards you with the ace of wands in reverse intentionally avoiding any new beginning with you okay tell me about the three of wands in reverse Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Mm -hmm. Also the Hierophant upright. What else can you tell me about that? And the Hangman in reverse. Okay, so this is a form of control, basically. 
This is a form of control. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to control you. And this is their, their strategy, their tactic. Yeah, because I don't, I don't feel like this person is thinking about permanently closing off with the Ace of Pentacles and the Hierophant. This basically tells me that they see you as someone who's extremely valuable. A very, very valuable person. I don't feel like they are going to let that go. It's almost like this person wants like wants to like um be vindictive towards you here. Like they're being vindictive in some way here. They're being spiteful. That's why they're shutting down because it's kind of like they're trying to hurt you, you know? It's like they're trying to poke at you and hurt you. They're trying to make you feel some type of way because they're angry, they're holding a grudge, so they want you to like, you know, be upset as well. They want you to be upset as well. All right, let me look. Let me see what this person wants with you. Let's get to the point here because I feel like we're dancing too much. All right, Spirit, um, what does this person want with Libra? What does this person want with Libra? Ultimately, what, are, what do they truly want? All right, in regards to what they want, we do have the Five of Cups showing up here. We also have the Lovers in Reverse in regards to what they want. We also have the Death card in Reverse. Okay, this person's conflicted also. What are you two, you two are mirroring each other? It feels like a little bit of mirroring here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to call it. At this point, I feel like I have to call it. There, there's a mirroring situation going on between you and this person. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. Hmm. So this is what happened here. This is why they're holding a grudge. This person feels like you rejected them. They feel like you you blocked them or you pushed them away or it's something about them feeling like they try to like make peace make peace with you or they try to like approach you, extend themselves out to you. Um they try to like get, get on good terms with you and they feel like you shut them down with the seven of wands. You rejected them and they're upset about that. They feel like you don't care about them anymore the same way you used to or they feel like the connection between the two of you has become weak. It's not as strong as it was before. They feel like... Um, your emotions have have decreased for them. Um, with the death card in reverse, this tells me that they don't want to lose you. They don't want to lose you. They want to still be with you, but they do feel um, disappointed and or heartbroken because they feel like you're not letting them in. They feel like you're not letting them in. But it just kind of looks like, um, did you do this? Let me just clarify the. Tell me about the seven of wands connected to Libra. Mm, I see. Yeah, there, there was some sort of fight here or there, Knight of Swords in reverse. There was some sort of fight or argument or disagreement, um, some sort of drama or discord between the two of you. Um, I do feel like something happened here. 
Uh, tell me about the seven of wands. Ten of, okay. Ten of pentacles in reverse, I see. Let me look at you real quick. Tell me about the knight of swords in reverse. The hermit card, okay. Tell me about the seven of cups connected to Libra. The nine of pentacles. And the two of cups in reverse, yeah. All right, you know, Libra, um, I guess it could be true. I'm trying to figure out if it's true, what they're saying here. It does look like, yeah, it was. it's true. But I feel like the reason why you did it is because um, you just don't feel like you're getting what you deserve from this person. You, you are showing up as nine of pentacles and the two of cups in reverse. You want something specific with this person. You're waiting for a specific offer. And this person is not extending that. They're not extending that offer to you. You're, you're looking for the Ace of Cups, a specific offer from them. And you're not getting it. They're not, they're offering you everything except that. Except this specific offer that you want from them. They're offering you everything except that. And that's, that's your issue. This is, you don't want this. That's the thing. Like, this is kind of like the energy of someone who wants to be friends with you. You don't want this. You don't want to be friends. You know, you're, you're not looking for that. You want this person, but you don't want them as, as just friends, you know? Let me just confirm what you want real quick. Spirit, what does Libra want with this person? Let me just, let me just verify. What does Libra want with this person here? Okay, we have three of cups to the eight of swords to the devil in reverse. Tell me more. The star. King of Cups in reverse, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, good. Yeah, you want emotions from this person. You want this person to um, establish a, a true emotional connection with you. And, you know, you want this person to be expressive and honest with their feelings. Um you're looking, it's interesting, you're looking for both here. You're looking for a true emotional connection, but you're a true romantic, emotional, romantic love connection. But you're also looking for stability, security, commitment. Yeah, you're looking for the whole thing. In other words, you're looking for the whole package. You don't have time for this. Because this is what they came towards you with. And what is this? Let me just clarify this to see what... What do they come towards you with? Spirit, can you um, elaborate here with the Page of Pentacles to the Nine of Cups? This person feels misunderstood by you, by the way. That's, that's how they are looking at this situation. They feel misunderstood. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles to the Nine of Cups. Um, Queen of Wands to Empress, Six of Swords in Reverse. Okay, I got it. All right, I got it. You know what it is, um, Libra, with this person? Um, they do have the Hierophant here on their side, so they do want a commitment. Um, I just feel like you're dealing with someone who goes about relationships in a different way than you go about it, you know? It's almost like two people that have different languages or it but it's not it's not really languages it's like have the two people that have different views on on what a, a commitment is you know 
have you two have different views on what a a relationship is on what a commitment is also you two have different like pace there's a difference in pace this person they kind of slowly um work their way up towards a commitment You're more in the energy of, I already know what I want, you know, I know what I want, know what I'm looking for, I know what I'm trying to um, manifest or what I want to manifest, you know, you don't need that slow progression because the reason why this person needs or that slow progression is because they're insecure, you know, they're insecure. So this person kind of takes takes things day by day, you know, and they, they figure things out day by day, slowly, you know, they don't really know right off the bat what they want, I mean, they know they want a commitment, they just don't know right off the bat if you're the right person for them, like, um, it, it takes them a long time to, for them to feel comfortable, for them to feel safe, for them to feel secure in, in this connection. Like they just, they don't have that intuition that you have or that instinct or that, you know, clairvoyance. I don't know what you call it. Like that knowing that you have of, of just knowing what, what you want immediately, you know? They don't they don't operate in that way. They they they're just naturally a very insecure person, you know, they have a lot of deep fears, a lot of deep traumas that they that they carry with them um and deep insecurities. So It's like a very slow process with this person. Like you have to be really patient with them. And, you know, you kind of have to almost take a chance on them because this person doesn't know what tomorrow looks like, you know. So it's, it's very unpredictable, you know. They, they don't know what they want to do tomorrow. Like they're, they're just constantly like, you know, figuring things out every minute, you know, every minute, every day, it's like, they're very unpredictable, even to themselves, you know, they themselves don't know what could possibly change in them, you know, a week from now, a month from now, or, you know, they themselves don't know if, if, if maybe all of a sudden they'll, they'll switch, They'll, they'll switch their, their perspective or their feelings or their thoughts. Like, and they want to be with you because I can see they, they want to be with you. They're, they're upset right now, but they definitely want to be with you. But they do feel misunderstood because they feel like you don't understand the way they operate the way they, you know, you know, the way they view relationships. You And the thing is that you don't understand it because you don't resonate with those insecurities that they have, you know? You're a lot more of a confident person. Like, where are you? Over here. Nine of Pentacles to the Two of Cups in reverse. Like, um, you're just, you're just a lot more confident. You're just, you're someone who, you know, you're secure. You feel secure in your own identity, in your own, you know, energy, in your own value, in your own worth, um, which is why you're a lot more like stable than this person is what I'm noticing here. It, it looks like you have more stability than this person has. Um, so for some of you, you win more money, um, you have a higher income or you have a, um, a better career than this person has, or you're overall, you're more established than they are. And it's, it's because of that. It's because 
you know, you know how to um, create stability because you know what you have to do. You know what you want, you know what you have to do, and you know how to take the necessary steps and you don't, you don't hesitate, you know? But this person hesitates a lot. So they probably don't have a really good career. They probably are not the best. They probably don't have the best financial stability, okay? And that is a reflection of um, how they are in relationships as well. So don't know what to do here. I don't know what to tell you here. So what, that's why they're upset because this person felt like they, they were trying to like, you know, create something good with you or like, you know, get on good terms with you. And they feel like you shut them down um, because you feel like this person is playing games with you. But because they're not being upfront and clear with you about their intentions or about where you stand with them or about what they want with you. So, you know, you, this is your defense mechanism being activated here, you know? Okay. Um, so I think that's, uh, that's what I have for you um, as of right now, Libra. Just hopefully this helped you under, understand what's going on inside of this person. Let's see what's going to happen moving forward. Yeah. What's going to end up happening? Yeah, because you, you definitely feel very dis disillusioned with the um, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Cups in reverse. You're, you do feel disillusioned. It does look like you feel like you're losing feelings here. I don't think you actually are though. I will say that. I don't feel like you actually are losing feelings. I feel like you're losing motivation. You're losing motivation to continue like, you know, pouring energy here into this relationship or connection. What can you tell me about what's gonna happen in the near future here between Libra and this person? Okay, so I do see healing. There will be um, communication. It does look like this person is going to come back towards you to try to heal things with you, to try to make amends with you. It kind of looks like this person does love you. It just looks like they're really upset right now for the reasons I explained. But I do see that um, they don't want to lose you, and ultimately they are going to decide to basically put their ego to the side so that they can work things out with you again, okay? And I do see them being a lot more emotionally open and expressive with you, okay? So yeah, I, I do see healing. You could accept it or you can deny it, okay? So that, that's gonna be up to you. All right, Libra, I hope this reading helped. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.